The Sightings at the Chernobyl Power Plant After the encounters witnessed in the town of Point Pleasant back in 1966 to 1967, the Mothman would not return for another couple of decades. In that time, reported sightings of the creature were concentrated around the Soviet Union but notably centered around the town of Pripyat and at the Chernobyl Power Plant. There were an overwhelming number of reports in the region, and even workers at the power plants claimed to be bothered by the appearance of the creature. According to the residents of the town of Pripyat, there were numerous reports and claims of a strange winged creature often seen flying over the town late at night on a variety of different occasions. In the case of the workers at the Chernobyl power plants, there appeared to be much more alarming reports. In the months shortly following the Chernobyl incident on the 26th of April back in 1986, the workers at the Chernobyl power plant noticed the same creature reported throughout the town of Pripyat hovering over the plant. Sometimes, it even rested on the larger towers and areas of construction. What grew more perplexing for the workers were the reported incidents in which people experienced harrowing nightmares of the creature that would manifest into threatening phone calls from the creature, calling them throughout the night. Many residents of Pripyat and workers at the Chernobyl power plant described the creature as resembling the shape of a man with wings and piercing, glowing red eyes. This creature would later be referred to as the Blackbird of Chernobyl and, similar to the cases in Point Pleasant, would cease to exist in the region shortly after the Chernobyl incident. The Chernobyl incident is known worldwide as one of the largest tragedies and potentially the most environmentally damaging of its time. Although it appeared that the governments of the world were ready and prepared when it occurred, the event still saw more than 50,000 square miles of land contaminated with radioactive fallout, making a large part of it completely unusable for the foreseeable future. The site of the town of Pripyat and Chernobyl will not be habitable for another 20,000 years. It could very well be that the Mothman was warning us of an impending doom that could have left a much larger area completely uninhabitable for a much longer time. Point Lookout Lighthouse The Point Lookout Lighthouse in the town of Scotland, located in the state of Maryland, appears to have had a long history with the supernatural. In fact, many paranormal researchers claim that the lighthouse is one of the most haunted locations in the United States. Many have reported that going to the lighthouse will turn even the most unshakable skeptics into a terrified believer. Many have often reported seeing male and female apparitions appear before them, only to vanish shortly before a picture could be taken, or others could see it. Doors will often open and close, slamming them shut, and people have also reported hearing noises of heavy footsteps running up and down the lighthouse, along with shouting, screaming, whispering, and even snoring. Many have speculated that this could be due to the fact that many years ago, the spot was once used as a hospital and prison camp for Confederate soldiers during the time of the Civil War. Although the lighthouse went out of operation back in 1985, it still holds an incredible piece of history that can be heard in the hallways of the lookout. Rigel the Dog The Dog Who Saved Lives Newfoundland dogs are known around the world for their ability to tolerate the coldest temperatures and for working tirelessly to protect their owners from any possible dangers. This appeared to be the case when discussing the events of Rigel, the dog who helped save numerous lives during the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Rigel was the dog owned by the captain of the Titanic, who was believed to have perished early on in the sinking of the ship. However, his dog continued on with his duties. After the survivors were aboard lifeboats and the ship had sunk quite deep, Rigel the dog jumped off the starboard bow and landed in the frigid, icy waters. Many of those in lifeboats remembered seeing Rigel swimming around, almost as if completely unaffected by the temperature, doggy paddling his way onto floating debris or beside lifeboats, where he could get a moment's rest. After a long wait for search and rescue, it appeared that lifeboat number four was far away from the search efforts of the crews near the area. As the Carpathia came into the region, the crew of which would come to pick up the majority of the survivors, it appeared that lifeboat four had begun to drift under the bows of the ship and was at risk of being run down. The survivors on the lifeboat were already far too weak to make their voices heard on board. The Carpathia was commanded by a man named Jonas Briggs, who heard the barking of the dog and noticed the lifeboat drifting closer and closer to the bow. He signaled for the boat to turn, and the survivors were quickly rescued. Rigel would later be adopted by Jonas Briggs and lived out the rest of his days in a home in rural Scotland to a ripe old age. 
the bloop, and the Julia sound. Back in 1997, a sound was recorded emanating from deep within the ocean in vast, unexplored regions. It was so loud that it was considered one of the loudest sounds ever recorded on Earth at the time. It was given the nickname, the bloop, because it mimicked the sound patterns of marine animals in some ways. The strange thing about this noise was that for it to have been from a sea creature, it would have had to emanate from a large marine animal larger than the size of most naturally formed islands. Because of this impossible size, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration considered the noise to be caused by an ice quake, a large shattering sound caused when massive pieces of underwater ice crack. However, many experts reject this explanation as the noise was too loud for standard ice quake recordings. This sound remains a mystery that requires more evidence for explanation. In 1999, a similar sound was recorded, nicknamed the Julius Sound. This recording mimicked the original behaviors of the bloop recording and was analyzed in much greater detail, determining the audio closer to a cooing sound or a continuous whining noise. This renewed interest in the mystery and prompted speculation that there might be a massive underwater creature deep beneath the ocean surface. Interestingly, new information regarding the matter has recently surfaced due to H.P. Lovecraft enthusiasts and a collection of conspiracy theory writings. According to the Lovecraftian novels, a large ancient elder god known as Cthulhu rests at the bottom of the ocean, awakening to bring doom to humanity. In Lovecraft's writings, he provided a location for the monster, somewhere around a latitude of 50 degrees south and a longitude of 100 degrees west. Interestingly, the source of the bloop sound had been traced to a 50 degrees south latitude and 102 degrees west, closely matching Lovecraft's tale. Ancient Aztec Pyramids Although many might be unaware of the discoveries, pyramids are not only found in Egypt. In fact, archaeologists and researchers have found pyramids all around the world, built by various ancient civilizations. The ancient Aztec civilization also boasts a variety of these pyramid-like structures that are more than 2,000 years old. Unfortunately, the purpose of these pyramids remains shrouded in mystery. One of these pyramids, the Pyramid of the Sun, located in Teotihuacan, Mexico, stands as one of the largest constructions ever created in the Americas. It is believed to have taken more than 100 years to build and contains over 1.1 million adobe mud bricks. The Pyramid of the Sun is almost identical in size to the Great Pyramid of Giza, though it stands much shorter due to a lower angle of height. The pyramids are believed to have been the center of religious and sacrificial rituals in the Aztec civilization. Researchers suggest that the pyramids held a deep religious and spiritual significance, acting as the heart of the city's design. The pyramids, especially the Pyramid of the Sun, are believed to be the site of numerous rituals conducted by the Aztecs to ensure the safety of humanity, guaranteeing a new year. In Aztec mythology, it is believed that their gods would descend from the sky and land on the pyramids, providing gifts, using the pyramids for maintaining contact, and more. This has led to theories suggesting that the pyramids may have been ancient landing sites for extraterrestrial visitors, given the descriptions of gods' interactions with the structures. Today, there is no consensus on the exact purpose of these pyramids, but they are believed to be closely tied to the Aztec civilization's religious and spiritual practices and their connection to celestial bodies. The Adoro Merperson One of the darker tales involving mythical sea creatures is that of the Adoro Merperson. Unlike traditional mermaid legends, Adoro creatures are described as evil spirits that roam the Pacific Ocean, residing at deep depths in the darkest regions of the ocean. They share some physical characteristics with mermaids, such as the humanoid appearance with large gills behind their ears, but they have a long tail fin instead of feet and a shark-like dorsal fin that can grow into a large horn. They also have a massive shark spear growing from the top of their heads, similar to a swordfish or a sawfish. According to legend, Adoro creatures are born when an evil person falls into the ocean and passes away. This evil lingers in the ocean, forming the body of an Adoro, which then continues to grow in numbers. They are believed to reside close to the Solomon Islands and are considered far more sinister than traditional mermaid legends. Encounters with the Adoro are best avoided. The Loch Ness Monster Possibly one of the biggest ocean mysteries is the search for the Loch Ness Monster. Sightings of the creature have been associated with the long-extinct plesiosaur, a dinosaur. In recent years, scientists discovered that another supposedly extinct species, 
the vampire squid is still alive in deep, unexplored ocean depths. The only known natural predator to the vampire squid is the plesiosaur. This discovery has led some to believe that the Loch Ness Monster could be a surviving species of plesiosaur inhabiting deep, unexplored ocean areas. In fact, in the early 1900s, Japanese fishermen caught a large creature that closely resembled a living plesiosaur, washed up near the beaches. This discovery led experts to consider the possibility of a surviving dinosaur species. However, until further exploration can be conducted in deeper ocean areas, such as the Marianas Trench, the Loch Ness Monster will remain one of the ocean's many mysteries. The massive circular stone structure under the Sea of Galilee. Referred to as the Mound in the Sea, there is a strange underwater anomaly directly beneath the Sea of Galilee, located at its shallowest section. The mound was discovered in 2003 when researchers were searching for ancient artifacts underwater. After further analysis, researchers believe that the area is artificial, formed by ancient people. The mound, located in 30 feet of water, may have been above water and used as a construction site in ancient times. The mound is constructed using basalt rocks stacked into a cone shape, and it is believed to be twice the size of Stonehenge. Researchers have speculated about its purpose, suggesting it might have been a large ramp or a ceremonial structure. Some believe it could have been slowly eroded by the surrounding water. Unfortunately, no further research into the area has continued, and the structure's true purpose remains a mystery. An 8.5-mile pyramid discovered underwater. In 2016, a strange and unexplainable deep-sea anomaly was discovered. Spotted using state-of-the-art satellite information, it appears to be a massive pyramid construction underwater, far larger than the pyramids of Giza. The structure is estimated to be somewhere between 3.5 to 11 miles across and rests in the Pacific Ocean, west of Mexico. You can even view the massive structure using Google Earth satellite images. The discovery was made by Marcelo Igazustin, a researcher from Argentina. He claimed the structure could be evidence of an ancient civilization predating known human history. His theories led to various conspiracy theories, suggesting it could be a secret alien base inhabiting the ocean floor. Many have pointed to the existence of unidentified submerged objects or UFOs emerging from underwater, adding to the intrigue. The mystery surrounding this underwater pyramid continues to capture imaginations. The radiocarbon dating of the Shroud The Shroud of Turin has long been a subject of debate, including its authenticity in the Age of the Cloth. The radiocarbon dating of the artifact was allowed under special permission, and a tiny sample of the shroud was taken for testing. However, the sample taken was from the same damaged section that had been burned in a fire, throwing off the carbon dating results. It wasn't until later, in 2013, that testing using vibrational spectroscopy indicated the cloth was most likely produced between 300 BC and 400 AD aligning with the time of the resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth. This finding provided evidence supporting the authenticity of the Shroud's age. No paints or substances. In 1390, an anonymous artist claimed to have created the Shroud, stating it was nothing more than a forgery, created with paints and substances. This claim led to skepticism about the Shroud's authenticity for many years. However, in the early 1970s, a Turing Commission conducted tests on the Shroud to determine whether paints and substances were used in its creation. Conventional and electron microscopic examinations found an absence of paints and substances on the Shroud. Researchers were puzzled by this, as they expected to find evidence of pigments. Further testing of the Shroud samples revealed the presence of an organic material that contained a rich and pure iron oxide. This iron oxide mimicked the properties of blood and helped debunk the claim that the image was created using paints or substances. This discovery supported the authenticity of the shroud. But fortunately, despite these testings, they concluded that the existence of the organic material was not the cause of the formation of the image and was rather a layer found on top of the image. Further testings into the iron oxide residue allowed for the blood found on the cloth to be tested and showed the same consistencies as that of beef-type blood. Though no further information could be found conclusively, no paints or physical substances of any kind were found to make up the image of the man on the shroud. The Baltic Sea Anomaly During the summer of 2011, 
An independent Swedish-based organization known as the OceanX team began its search for sunken treasures and historical artifacts that could be recovered from old rumored shipwrecks in the region of the Baltic Sea. Interestingly enough, as they continued their investigation using high-end sonar imagery equipment, they soon discovered a strange image that appeared to look strikingly similar to a sunken unidentified flying object referred to as the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Below the waters appears to be a strange formation that contains sharp edges, a large overall body, and an interesting shape that looks similar to that of a large completely circular flying saucer. Unfortunately, no efforts could be made to go deeper into the water and uncover the true nature of the object as the structure appears to be located too deep for an independent research team to explore. Because of this, no new information regarding the structure can be uncovered and the strange Baltic Sea anomaly is still hidden deep beneath the waters.